Their home is a lot different from yours. People with work with the homeless, people who work with the homeless believe as many as 1,500 people are living in gloomy flood control tunnels underneath the valley at any given time. Fox 5 has been telling you about the deadly dangers they face every day, every time there's a monsoon. Jovial wanted to know more about their life and their efforts to not only escape the tunnels, but homelessness as well. This tunnel was good because it was accessible to downtown, right? Where you could go beg for change, you could you know, do your hustles, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it was close to the action. Home for a couple years for Rob Banghart was underneath downtown Las Vegas. Here, we are walking just above the tunnel he lived in. When you drop down here, you go another 30, 40 feet, and it's like a room, it opens up. Well, the tunnels in this area near downtown run under what's known as the homeless highway. These railroad tracks right here provide easy access to some homeless shelters. Now, this is also an area where Rob Banghart says he died. When you say you died, what do you mean by that? I had to be resuscitated a couple times. A Banghart says some of the things he did out here caught up to him. He says three men viciously attacked him outside these buildings near his tunnel. I had a knife sticking out of my leg. I had, you know, been hit in the head with a hatchet three times. I had been hit with a pipe. I had a broken jaw. He woke up in the hospital three days later and experienced what he called a God shot. Later, a nonprofit called Shine a Light came into his life and turned his life around. His near-death experience in 2018 turned his tunnel life full circle. Banghart is no longer homeless. In fact, he is now the outreach director for Shine a Light. Every Saturday, he and volunteers go into valley tunnels to help people just like him. Banghart has been doing this every Saturday since 2018. This was a week ago on Saturday. And when they encounter people, they just talk to them. Simple kindness, conversations, checking in, how you doing? You need to call your mom. I mean, simple little things. Somebody that's been out here and so disconnected for so long, those are like lifelines. And for those who are tired of this life, Shine a Light offers immediate help to leave the tunnels for good. Five people left with the group on Saturday. Now, those people went to detox for three to five days. From there, they will spend 90 days on an inpatient treatment program or transitional housing with treatment, then sober living. They get case managers for up to two years to monitor them and help with employment, food, clothes, bus passes, IDs, birth certificates, tools to help them stay off the street for good. A Banghart knows people slip, but they won't give up on them. Oh, I went through detox 67 times. Banghart compares Shine a Light's work to someone seeing a bunch of stranded starfish on the beach. He's, and there's thousands of starfish on, 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 on the beach dying, and he's just walking down, throwing them back one at a time, one at a time, and another guy looks at him and goes, what are you doing, man? You can't save them all. He's like, well, tell that to the starfish. I just made a difference in his life. A Banghart says since January, 220 people have left the tunnels with Shine a Light, with most not returning here. Well, some of those who left Saturday got a goodbye from others. Two or three people that came out to say goodbye, good luck, let us know how you're doing, come back and visit us, you know what I mean? It was very friendly. And just like Banghart, they are now on their way to a new life, a second chance, just like the group gave him. I think as a whole, we do it because we want to give back. You know what I mean? Because we, Las Vegas is our home, but it's not our home if we're not willing to look at the problems. It's just somewhere we live. Joe V. Hill, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas. The group Shine a Light works with some community partners, but it does get its funds from the donations from you. It pays for a lot of that treatment and housing, which adds up to thousands of dollars per person that they help. You can head to the story on the homepage of our website for more information about the group.